Guys, this is giving me face paint all over my teeth. Just deal with it, okay? Hey guys, so many of you asked for a scar tutorial um, of how I did my scar makeup in my Lion King medley and I thought what better time to do a scar tutorial than Halloween. Obviously, scar is a male originally, so this works for both boys and girls. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. The only thing that I didn't do for this was spray my hair black, which is what I did in my medley and I backcombed my hair, but be warned that backcombing your hair excessively can destroy it so that's why I didn't want to do it for this video but I hope that you enjoy the makeup tutorial and let's get straight into the video so the first thing that I did was tie all my hair out of my face then taking my NYX jumbo pencil in milk I outlined Scar's mouth as Scar's mouth is white and I thought this would be perfect to sort of draw on first so that I didn't make any mistakes it's quite hard to explain what shapes I did to recreate Scar's mouth but I hope that the video is enough for you guys to be able to recreate this look yourselves. Obviously you want to try and get this as even as possible on both sides. I then took a small black eyeliner pencil and I outlined my face. Scar has a sort of ring, black ring around the outside of his face and I created a small heart shape um, with this pencil and then I realised that I made a mistake and I actually took the pencil in to meet the white a bit higher. But it's fine because all of the outside of the face is going to be painted black. And then taking my face paint and painting all the outside of my face black, being careful to trace the lines where Scar's mouth is. This is sort of the part where you can really play around with the shape of Scar's face and touch up anything that you weren't happy with. And then taking a white face paint, all the face paints that I'm using are by Snazaroo. I think they're amazing. And I am filling in Scar's mouth. Snazaroo face paint is very good, but I do like to do a few coats of it to make sure that it's a solid colour because I don't like to see through the face paint. So you can go over this as many times as you like or as little as you like, but I am doing a second coat and I'm also going to go over my lips. And then taking my orange face paint and filling in the rest of my face that it hasn't yet got any colour, but I'm leaving my eyelids and underneath my brow bone. You want to take the orange face paint maybe a bit more than halfway down your nose. And then recreating Scar's eyebrows, which is quite hard to do. They sort of arch up, not too much, but you want them to be quite rounded and you want a little flick in the middle to make it look like his brow is kind of furrowed. Of course, the second eyebrow you want to leave a small gap in, depending on how big you want your Scar. I'm then filling in my brow bone, my eyelids and just underneath my eye with a dark brown face paint.
I'm then drawing on my scar, which as you can see doesn't have to be very neat. I'm doing this in a white face paint. Taking my black face paint again, I'm covering the rest of my nose and drawing a small circle around the outside of my nose to make my nose look more rounded. Of course, lions are not neat and do not have straight lines around their face. They have messy fur, so we're just gonna make Scar's fur more scraggly and you can do this very randomly, however you want to. Um, and just go crazy with it, really. I'm then taking my small black eyeliner again and I'm making two small lines around my circular nose. I'm also making a line from my nose down to my lip. I'm also quickly going to outline my scar. I'm then going in with my black face paint and making these features that I've just drawn on more prominent. This is quite hard to explain, but I hope that you guys can see what I'm doing. I think this makes Scar look like he has a sort of sad mouth, which is very spooky for his character. Finally, I'm taking my black face paint and outlining my scar. Then take your hair out, backcomb it, spray it, do whatever you want with it, and maybe add some ears and your scar look is complete. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.